Good morning, everyone. It's another beautiful morning. I'm just showing you Miss Julie. She's over there. Well, let's find her. There she is. She's over there busy working with Omari. Hi, Kaylin. Hi. Good morning. Yeah, I say everyone, but basically it's going to you, Miss Caitlin. As I fix my hair in front of it like it's a mirror. Oh, my God. How vain is that? Anyways. We didn't really get to, I had started one yesterday, Caitlin, but I didn't really get to finish it because it was a crazy day, so I sent you some that Miss Kathy had made. So now we'll have to start all the way from the beginning. It's like what today is. Yesterday was Wednesday, but it's not Wednesday anymore. Throw it away. Goodbye, Wednesday. We have to figure out what's next. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. So we said yesterday was Wednesday. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. What comes after Wednesday? Do you remember for the days of the week? There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. Is it there's Thursday and there's Friday? Or is it there's Saturday, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Saturday and Friday. Which one sounds right? I'm thinking Thursday. Were you thinking the same thing, Caitlin? Kate, 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 Caitlin. A beautiful little Caitlin. There it is. Today is Thursday. What will tomorrow be? Tomorrow is. I don't like that they have is there, but that's okay. What comes after Thursday? There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, there's Thursday and there's Friday! Tomorrow's Friday! Yay! Miss Joanne's favorite day of the week. Yay. The work week. Friday! Only way better was it be another payday, but it's not. Uh -huh. And we're trying to figure out what's the weather for today. I think it's going to be rainy all day. Look at out your window. Is it all raining out there now? No, it's not raining out. What's out there? Our friend is out there. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. It's sunny out, and it's supposed to be a beautiful day. We're going to go out later for a walk because it just looks too nice to not go out. And we haven't been able to go out lately, so we're going to take advantage of it, hopefully. Today is Thursday. It's sunny. It's going to be sunny all day. And tomorrow will be Friday. I'm going to put that back up on the board. Then we have to figure, oop. Then we have to figure out what day of the week. Like what date, the number. What did I hear? Oh. I have a problem. Dude. I have a what problem? Sounds like I have a problem, dude. <laughs> Omari's practicing on his, commu on his uh, problem, dude? communication device. So, we want to know today's Thursday, but we don't have the number. Let's count. I want you to help me count. Ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. What comes after 16? Would it be? Would it be 17? Or would it be 20? You have a problem because you're mad? And that's how you're feeling? What are you mad about? Today's the 17th. This weekend is Father's Day, and then Monday is the first day of summer, the official first day of summer. So today is Thursday, June 17th, 2021. Our cutler we've been working on 
is orange. These are kind of orangey. Sick. Are you sick? Should we call mommy and send you home? You sick? We've been working on the number one. More. I have one card in my hand. Just one. And we've been working on the letter L. That's how it looks like. And L is for Legos, lips, and this one you use your eyes for, you look. More. Some na uh, an animal, a leopard, or a lion. And names are Linda or Lucy, then Lionel and Larry. All sorts of L things. So those are the what we've been working on. We haven't done feelings in a while. Miss Julie, would it be possible? Or you're in the middle of doing that. What do you need? I wanted all the feelings cards across the bottom of that chart, but I don't want to. She's going to get our feelings card. I should have already had them, so I apologize for this delay in production. I'm not a professional. We haven't done feelings in a while. So let's do some of our feelings, because you have a right to all your feelings. It's what you do with them that we can't. Oh, look at the picture I found. Oh, I can't show the picture, because this is still being made public. Sorry. What's that? Omari, what's that? Omari, look. Talk to. Tired. Oh, that's what Josiah is half the time when he comes in. He's like, hmm. Tired. Miss Joanne's tired. She did not sleep last night. Mad. How about your day? Mad or angry. I'm mad. I wanted to see Grandma today, and she's not coming now. I'm mad. Oh, I'm afraid. I heard a noise, and I don't know what it is, and my mom's not here. I'm afraid. Sick. He's got the old-fashioned thermometer sticking in his mouth. They don't do that anymore. He's got some medicine up there on her, on the, on the, up here. He's just not feeling good. He's feeling sick. How about your day? Sad. Look, he's got a tear coming from his eye, and his mouth is going down like that, and even his eyes are going down. He's sad. And Miss Joanne's favorite. Happy! Happy, happy, happy. Eyes, nose, which you can't see, mouth, happy face. I have a student that used to do that. I just remembered that. Today, along with other stuff, I would like to read a story about another story about a dog. And it's called The Adventures of Taxi Dog. And this is from adapted from the Sherlock Center. See, there's the dog. Ruff, ruff, and he's in the taxi going for a ride. Now, in case you don't know what taxis are, taxis are cars, mostly cities, but um, and they have drivers in them, and people call for a taxi, or you wait a certain, and you hail one down, and it comes over and picks you up, and it gives you a ride someplace, and then you pay them. Fun. And then they drive a billion miles an hour and through narrow city streets and, and scare you. The book was written by Deborah and Sal Baracco, Baraka, Baraka, yep, and the pictures are by Mark Buena. So I guess this is, the taxi dog is talking. When you look at him, doesn't he just kind of look sad there? I was born in the city. A lot of you guys can say that because you were born in Providence, and that's the city. I lived on my own in a park. Oh, he didn't have a home. He had no little kids to pet him and feed him and play with him. That's a shame. That He looks sad. Sad, Omari. Fun. Oh, yeah, we want the dog to have fun. So let's see what happens on the next page. Mm. Oh, 
Oh, the nice taxi driver, I think that's who that is, says, Are you lost? You can come home with me. I could go home with him and get some good food to eat. Because it's probably hard for the dog if he doesn't have anybody that loves him to find food he's eating out of the trash and stuff. So he did go home with him and he says, I ate all the food. Jim, that must be Jim. Jim loved me. Oh, he's hugging him. He's putting a nice pretty scarf bandana around him. He's, he's rubbing his face against him. I don't know how, if you can see it. But he looks happy now, the dog. Mm. What, honey? It looks happy. Mm. We gotta clear your words, huh? Mm. My wish came true. I had a warm house and someone who loves me. And there he is sitting way up there on the stairs with his new owner, Jim, watching all the kids play. He's so happy he has a house now. He's not out in the rain and the snow. And he has food and a safe place to sleep. Jim named me Maxie. And I rode in his taxi. Oh, Maxie! Maxie the taxi dog. I made lots of new friends. Oh, he's very happy there. He's got his head out the window. Dogs like to do that. You have to be careful, though, if they're looking forward, because the, the wind and the constant in their eyes can cause damage to their eyes. You're not supposed to let your dogs hang out like that. But Maxie rode in the taxi with Jim. That's exciting. He's loved. That's so nice to hear. One lady was a singer. Oh. So I sang too. So he's as she's going. Ah, 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 ah. He's going. Row, 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 row. That's the dog singing. <laughs> Another lady was having a baby. See, there's the baby right now. It's in, still inside her. And there's the little baby after. So they're getting the lady and they're going to take her to the hospital. Oh. Exciting. Sometimes we went to the airport. Look at that big, huge plane. Maybe someday Miss Joanna will be on a plane again. We'll see. Once we brought two, count them, one, two, two clowns and a chimp to the circus. Two clowns and let's see, what's the chimp? These are very dark pictures. I don't see the chimp. I see some bunnies. Oh, I guess that's the chimp right there. The passengers loved me. So everybody loves him. Look at he's got funny glasses on. He's trying to make, he's making them laugh. All right, loved us. Our boss, Lou, gave me treats every day. He's giving him a doggy biscuit. That must really make the dog happy. Jim and I were best friends. See them together in the taxi, roll, driving off to the sunset. The end. What's your phone number? Okay, where's my thing that I want to do? Here we go. You have a lot of questions over there, Mr. Omari. Do you have any pets? You have some little... What's your name? 
doggy puzzles. We're going to count the dogs and, and match them with the numbers. So here's zero. How much can So this shows us zero spots are taken, none, and there's no dogs to count. That's what zero means. Zero. All right. I'm going to randomly pick one of them so we can see if we can count them. Here we go. How many dogs do we have there? Omari, look at the puppies. Do we have three dogs there? Or do we have eight dogs there? I don't know. Let's count and see. Ready? One, two, three. Three dogs. And there's their bone that has three spaces. One, two, three. To show you what three looks like. Three. Miss Julie was so nice to cut these all out and laminate them all and put them all together for us. Okay, let's get another number. I'm glad your day's fun. I had to count that to see which number it was so I could find the rest of it to match it. All right, I'm going to pause it now because I think Josiah is coming back. I had to stop that for a second. And I know I had another set in my hand. What did I do with them? Oh, I think it's this one. I put it over here. Now we're going to need... We need the number nine. Okay, I'm going to show you two numbers. You have to help me figure out which one is the number nine. Is this nine or is this nine? Which number is nine? nine? Which one number is nine, Josiah? Oh my God, you need a new bib already. Which one is nine? See, there's nine. Nine. So now we have to make sure we have the right number of dogs for the number. Let's see if this is the right number of dogs. Are you going to help me count, Caitlin? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that the right number? Yes, it is. And to show nine on here, it covers just about all of them because this is ten squares and nine is just short of ten. Nine comes before ten. We have time to do one more. Let's do this one this way. Let me grab this. Let's count the number of squares that are filled and see if we can find the right pictures and stuff for it, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Now we have to find the correct number of dogs and the correct number. Is this the correct number? Is that five? No, good job. Is this the correct number? Is that five? No, that's the number ten. Ah, is that five? Say no, Miss Joanne, that's the number four. We want five. Uh oh. Where is five? I thought it was right there. Now I'm looking for it. I made quite a mess over here, if you can believe that. Where's the number five? Where's the number five? Can you don't drink milk, soda, drink root beer? <laughs> oh, here we go. You'd rather drink soda and root beer than milk? I hear you, Omari. Finish. There's the number five. Yeah. Now we just have to find the right card with the right amount of dogs. Let's see, is there five on there? One, two, three, four. Is that right? No. How about this one? One, two. Like. Is that right? No. How about this card? One, two, three, four, five. Yay! It is right. So that is our video for today. Caitlin, I hope you're doing well. We can't wait for you to come. We want a little girl in the room. Come on, Caitlin. Yes, of course.
<laughs> Bye, Caitlin. Have a great day. Bye, Caitlin. I hope you're having a good time. Bye.